Welcome to my little rest ledge where I am currently screaming in pain because I have the barfies. <sighs> All right, today we're doing one of the most classic winter ice climbing outings that you can do in the White Mountains. We're gonna go up the south face of Mount Willard. We're gonna try a route that I haven't done before uh, called Gully 1 to Cauliflower Gully. The crux is gonna be pretty early on in our day. It's uh, kind of a steep WI4. It's known for being funky because it can get baked in the sun. So that is gonna be kind of a little a little reach for me, but I think I got it under control. Got Dylan with me once again. It's gonna be a good day. All right, right here is where we depart from the tracks and head up to go find our ice climb. It's quiet on this side of things. Looks like it couldn't have been more than one or two other parties going this way. There's Great Madness, Gully number two. And it looks like there might be a party at Gully one, but we got all day. How's it going? Good. You were out climbing with Brett the other day. Yes. Remind me your name? Ryan. Anna Marie, yeah. is this uh, two people going two different ways? Yeah. Okay, cool. I was hoping we weren't going to be behind two parties. <laughs> and then, what is this long green rope? Uh, that's left up there from when I went up, just to help us get back down. Cool. Yeah. Fun. Well, we're going to hop in line, I think. Use your hand. Things are starting to clear out a little. Soon enough, it'll be our go. Belay. That was a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. But it's ice for ya.
There's Dunn coming up the pitch. Oh yeah. All right, that was a sweet pitch. Now we gotta get from here up to the next tier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect to the back side of your clove briefly. Now I can take myself off the anchor. And then I'm gonna whoosh, kiwi coil all this rope up and go up to that tree and give you a little train belay. Now we've reached the cardio portion of our day. I'm so glad we didn't end up breaking trail. All right, here we are. Our next and final pitch of the day, Cauliflower Gully. Dude, it's so nice to like end with something super chill after doing like a pretty stout four to get up here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited. This is a beautiful, mysterious looking gully, and I've never climbed it before, so I'm going to drop these coils and hop on it. a little extended master point here off the back side of the clove. This climb used just about everything I had in the 60. Yeah, that was like kind of weird and alpine-y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, cause now we're right here at the view. It'd be pretty sweeping if it wasn't totally foggy, but I'm just happy to have climbed that route after so many years of looking at it. Yeah. I just like, I always end up finishing up the other side. I like never can motivate myself to walk over here, but that was like, it was super chill, but at the same time, it was like some of the funkiest ice yeah. I've seen all season. Sweet, we can maximize our efficiency here. If you wanna go to that tree and break down the anchor, yeah. I'm gonna just start putting gear away. Then we'll coil this shit up. Got my walking snack. And we are gonna head out of here. Oh, is this the summit? Sick. That's where we're at. Yeah, I am going to Bethel tonight. Speaking of which, um, I do need to shop for some food uh -huh. and get there at like a reasonable time and rent skins, I guess. Yeah. So, um, wanna do some trail running? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> no trains in sight after all that. Do you remember when that was the thing when everybody was like, they're gonna they're gonna run the trains all winter? Yeah, I saw that on Frankenstein that they said the train would be active. Mm-hmm. I feel like they just 
weren't expecting it to snow. Right. Yeah. All right, making my way through Crawford Notch right now. That was a fun outing. Um, I'm pretty stoked. Right now I'm changing to my comfy clothes, which I never bring with me, but I'm staying overnight in Bethel, so I wanted to have something that wasn't my climbing gear to sleep in. Um, but that was sick. Never got on either of those routes. Gully 1, like, was so deceptive. It looked like it was going to be WI 3 from the ground and ended up being, like, at the, the high end of 4. Not quite 4 plus, but it was just, it was pretty steep between those ledges and pretty sustained. Um, but I'm stoked to get out, stoked to be on the ice. I'm ready for skiing, though. I'm ready to climb ice with skis on my back and descend by not running in mountain boots. Um, but the ice is great to hold me over. I love being multidisciplined because then the conditions are never bad. There's always something you can be doing, whether it be rock, ice, or skiing. So close this out with a nice view of the notch for you all. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. Hug your mom. Don't forget to check your knots. All the things. Goodbye.